and welcome to today's Go Market Update with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. It's the 11th of October 2022 and we're going to take you on a wander around what's happening in markets. Now, let's have a look at the news. US equities suffered another sell-off to continue this extreme caution that is around at the moment. We've got a couple of big things going on this week. It is holding just about over last week's lows. We've got, of course, inflation data coming out later this week and US earnings kicking off on Thursday with JP Morgan. US futures are mildly higher in Asian trading and Asian indices are mixed. The Kospi and the Nikkei, which were both closed yesterday, playing catch-up, so they're suffering significantly, both down 2%. ASX is up in a cautious session, around about a quarter of a percent as we're recording this. European equity futures are pointing to a near neutral open, the DAX slightly in the green US dollar index continues to move up in the FX world. It is neutral today. Gold has breached 1700 on that break. We are also seeing it move back down to 1675. Oil has come back off its highs. It did test $100 on the Brent crude CFD contract and has moved down during yesterday and continued that today. Copper has bounced off 340, which is an important support. And the VIX, however, with everything going on, is still indicating market concern and is sitting above 30 at this stage. We're seeing some selling in Bitcoin again, and we've breached that 20,000 yesterday. And a test of that 18,600 support looks possible. At this stage, we are seeing continued selling in Asia. On the data front, we've got UK jobs. And of course, we've got inflation data out on Thursday and the FOMC minutes on Wednesday to deal with. Lots for the markets to digest, so one would suggest caution is still the order of the day. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. We talked about the Euro Kiwi yesterday, and you can see we are trading in a wide range of around about 300 pips over the last few days. And since the last test of this 171.47, we've had a major move back up towards this level at 174.85. It looks as though that could be tested today. It was yesterday before a slight pullback. It looks as though we're in the same ballpark in Asia. If we just take this back perhaps to the weekly chart, you can see the significance of this level and a breach of that would give plenty of upside potential if we see continued buying into the euro. On the ASX, we're having a look at NIC, which is Nickel Mines Limited. And you can see there we have had another bounce off a key level at around about this 76 cent level. So a strong session today, perhaps a move up to 81 in the first instance. A high probability trade would be a breach of that level there. One to keep an eye on over the next few days. And certainly there does look as though there's some movement into some of the material stocks, particularly the specialist metals. So keep an eye on those as a sector. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.